I just got a YouTube lesson and I didn't like it. I don't like not knowing things, but now I know things. Isn't this shot so much better than it normally would be? Wow, here's a secret. Turn your aperture all the way down. I don't know if you've been watching this channel lately. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But I don't know, I've been doing a vlog, a weekly vlog for like the last four months. And in the last vlog, I said I was gonna do like a yearly favorites. And guess what? Today is friends! I'm gonna just give you um, just a small glimpse into some of my favorite things from this year. Uh, some of it's beauty stuff, some of it's regular life stuff. Either way, here we go. First thing I want to talk about is this! Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is um, the NYX HD Finishing Powder um, in the Pressed Compact. I used to have the, the loose one and it just got all over the goddamn place. And I mean, it's it's just a, it's a translucent powder. It doesn't... It just it mattifies everything. It's great. Purchase it. It's cheap. Next is this. Can you see it? Can you see it? This is the ColourPop highlighter in the color Spoon. Or that's a highlighter. It's a super... A super... This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the color Spoon. I have it on today. Most of the stuff I'm talking about I'm wearing today just because it's my basic makeup routine. This, honest to Jesus, best highlighter for I believe like eight bucks. We'll just... Look at that glisten, bitch. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, I can't get enough of this. And I found the best way to apply it is with my finger. It does not do very well with any form of brush. I've tried lots of them, and I've tried sponges. Just finger it, and don't let anybody fucking use it, because that's disgusting. Next! We have um, a couple color pop, or color pop, a couple makeup geek shadows I want to talk about. I own about five, but I want to talk about these three in particular. Um, this is Peach Smoothie, Cocoa Bear, and Corrupt. They are a couple of the best, just like neutral shadows. They are some, I wear them almost every single time I do my makeup, unless I'm doing something crazy. Uh, I definitely recommend they're like six dollars a pot super cheap do it uh, they're great I'm wearing um peach smoothie and cocoa bear today and then I put on a different like just dark brown shadow because I'm going out and I don't want to look like a hooker during the daytime I'm trying to undo that where is the light going that doesn't show up in the video next we have this foundation can you see it can you see it can you see it can you see it can you see it? this is the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour uh, full coverage foundation. It's a matte. Um, I wear the shade 201 in classic beige because I'm pretty pale but not porcelain pale. It has really really great coverage. It matches my skin really really nicely and it is relatively inexpensive. I am a broke ass bitch. Have we discussed this? I'm a broke ass bitch. Also I quit my job yesterday so now I'm even fucking broker. I'm broke as fuck and this is a great 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 drugstore foundation so if you on a budget like me and you looking for a good foundation I would definitely suggest picking this one up. I believe it was like 12 or 13 bucks. Don't quote me on that but I found it at Target, Ulta, um, Meyer, all kinds of places. Just look around. They got it. Next! Next we have this! Can you see it? Can you see it? This is the Lush, uh, Gre- I haven't done this in a long time, I can tell because I'm fucking it up. This is the Grease Lightning T- That is a-, a duck. Okay. This is the Grease Lightning Tea Tree Cleanser. It's a cleanser? No, it ain't. So I use this, um, it's like a spot treatment for pimples and stuff. Um, I just like, you squirt a little bit out and it's a clear gel and you just like pop it on your zit spots and just let it sit without any moisturizer or anything. Um, you could also mix it into your moisturizer, which is most of the time what I do. Um, and just have it all over my face all the time. Um, but it's really, really great. It dries it out so quick. I had a pimple over here. The, yeah, it's right here. I had it over here um, about two days ago, and I like I extracted everything out of it because it was a ooh, it was gross, y'all. But I extracted everything out of it and then put this on it, and in about six hours, it had already like the swelling was all the way down, and it was already like forming a scab and like healing and everything. So that was great, um, and it made it really easy to cover up makeup because it wasn't red anymore. The next thing I want to talk about, and this is another Lush product, 
is this. Can you see it? Can you see it? This is the Skin Drink Facial Moisturizer. It is a, it's the second moisturizer I own by Lush. The other one is the Imperialis Moisturizer, which is a little bit lighter. I prefer this one um, in the summer when I have like a sunburn or in the winter when my skin's just really dry. Pretty much when my skin's real dry. Kind of expensive. I think it was like 25 bucks for this pot, but these pots will last you, girl. This pot will last me over a year because I don't use it all the time, and my other one that I do use all the time does last me a year. So $25 for a year worth of, out, for a year worth of moisturizer? You could do it, girl. Next is this. Can you see it? Can you see it? This is the Lush Angels on Bear Skin Cleanser. I've been using this on my face for about two years now. Y'all know how I feel about it. It's fucking great. Um, again, it's a Lush product, so it's kind of on the more expensive side. To be fair, though, this is much more reasonably priced than it was when I was using Clinique, which was like $17 a bottle that I bought every three or four months. Hold on. Hold on something in my balls. And my balls, I mean my eyeballs. This is a great, great thing. I love it a lot. Um, it cleanses very well. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't beat the shit out of my skin. It doesn't make me super dry. So if you have like combination skin or you just need something that's like just real easy on your skin, sign yourself up. Next is this. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? A lot of people ask me, not so much on, um, on social media or um, other places but in real life a lot of people ask me how do you keep your hair so purple and great Shannon and the trick is this great dye this is the Pravana Vivids uh, Chroma Silk in the color violet um, it is the perfect shade of purple in my opinion this is it washed the fuck out like it's I haven't dyed it in months and I'm about to dye it I need to go get some more because I think I only have like half a tube. Yeah, I only have half a tube and that's not gonna do it. But, um, and this one's really old. But this, this whole line of color, I will tell you is some of the best color I have ever used on my hair. The colors are always spot on with what they swatch and it's always really great and it doesn't beat the shit out of your hair which is really, really nice. And there's no like mixing or anything, so if you're like cool with your hairdresser and they can get you a bottle of this, you can do your own touch-ups, which is what I like, because you just put it in a bowl, apply it, let it sit for like 25, 30 minutes, or as long as, you can pretty much let it sit as long as you want. The longer you let it sit, the deeper and darker and more vibrant the color will be. I usually let it sit for anywhere from 35 to 40 just because I'm a little crazy. But great, great, great color leaves my hair so fucking purple and unicorn perfect, I cannot get enough. This is great if you're good with your hairstyler and you want purple hair or really any color, not normal hair, use the Chroma Silk Vivids. I do, do, do recommend. Last beauty thing, absolute last beauty thing, and it's not even really a beauty thing, it is just a wash, and it is this. Can you see it? Can you see it? This is the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. I have been using this to clean my makeup brushes, and I will tell you what, I have bought many different types of brush cleansers over the years, and I have yet to find one that isn't insanely expensive or that gets every little morsel and like crust of dried up foundation or powder or concealer or whatever out of my makeup brushes and my sponges. This, this gets every little bit out. All you do is, well for my sponges it's a little different, but for the brushes you just get the pairs wet, dump a little bit of this on it, like get it nice and moisturized through. If you have a glove, use that. I got this out of a different brush cleaner thing that I got from Sephora, and I use this for all of my big brushes, and then with my sponges I just run it through my hands and soak it in this stuff. Um, to get everything out of it and it, it works great and it is so cheap guys I bought this big ass bottle this 16 ounce bottle mind you I've washed my brushes twice out of this bottle 16 ounce bottle $9.99 at Target the best deal and they sell bigger bottles too and I guess you can use this to like you can pretty much use this for everything you can like wash your hair and it's just like an overall soap that you can use for everything Great, great, great quality. Do suggest you go buy. I found it at Target. I did see it at Meyer. if you live in the Midwest or East Coast. 
Um, they have it at Meyer or Fred Meyer, depending on what the fuck you call it. Um, and I have seen it at Target, so go on about your business. Next thing is just a regular life thing and we are almost done. This, can you see it, can you see it, can you see it? This is my box complete set of the Daria series and I don't know if I've told y'all about Daria and me, but like I feel as though I am Daria. Like I was just, I'm Daria in real life. Like I am just like very sarcastic and cynical and bitchy, but also really like I have deep feelings. So I love this. I was actually watching this last night. I It doesn't matter how many times I watch a series, I crack the fuck up every single time. So if you have never seen Daria or if you remember this being on MTV way back in the day, um, you know, leave me a comment down below. Tell me your favorite episode um, or just like go hunt it out on the internet. I got this box set, you guys, for 12 bucks. What are they doing? Why would they only sell this masterpiece for $12? What? What? But yeah, so that's one of my favorite things. Next is this. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? This is my ukulele. I don't think it's in tune right now. Oh, it is. Um, but this, I got this ukulele last year Christmas and I will tell you what, I have spent more happy moments in my bed or at work or, or at my ex job or whatever playing this thing and just fucking around and being musical and doing shit. I love this. I, it has, I have been out of music since I left high school and I never played an instrument before and this is one of the easiest instruments to pick up. If you think you have no musical talent, bitch, get you a ukulele. You got talent. You could be Don Ho. You could write the next Tiny Bubbles. I almost did. I actually did write a song. It's called Taylor Swift Song and it's about how every Taylor Swift song is exactly the goddamn same. And the final thing is this. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you? This is Vlogathon, and this is what I take all of my weekly vlogs on. Um, it does really, really good video for the most part. I think for a $129 camera, it does great video, and it works for me to do the vlog, and I really like it. So, those are all of my favorites for this year. Woo! Holy shit, that was a lot. So, do me a solid and click the like button if you like this video. And while you are down there, make sure you hit subscribe because I put out new videos every Friday. It's a weekly vlog. And then sometimes I throw these there in the middle, probably more often now because I don't have a job. Woo! Also, make sure you comment down below and tell me your favorite Dari episode. I want to know because I want to go through the box set and find them all and watch them. Because my favorite one is the one where they go to Nutty Nutty World and Kevin can't fucking say it right. Welcome to It's a Nutty 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 World. We're just nuts. About nuts. Best fucking line in the whole goddamn show. We're just nuts. About nuts. Fucking, the, it, the, it's so fucking perfect. So comment, like, subscribe, do all that shit. You can also follow me on all forms of social media at Shannon Hoopla, the exact same way it is spelled on this channel. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.